another game with Tactical Lich. This time I'm trying out some of the new Dwarven stuff, and he decided to bring the Lizardmen. He wanted to see if uh, the Quaddles got fixed or updated, and they did not. So they're still bugged where, well, at least in our version of the build, which might change by the time the DLC actually comes out. But uh, the Quaddles don't hide anything underneath them. These guys aren't stocked. Like, I could see them the whole time. So for my Dwarf build, I took Organ Guns and a Master Engineer. I wanted to pop a bunch of buffs and make the Organ Guns really slam some fools. Got two Slayers after their changes. Got the Slayer King. His... Actually, the Slayer buff for Ungram is actually kind of huge. His weapon strength can't be reduced by anything, so his insanely high weapon strength is still really good. Triple Iron Drakes after their slight buffs, and then some Miter's Blast charges and Dwarf Warrior Frontline. I do have a Runesmith with just Rune of Wrath and Ruid, and I have a Master Engineer uh, with some of their stuff. But the organ guns, unfortunately, still aim for the very side of a skank cohort, so they're not going to do very much damage there, but now I switch them on to the source Old Blood. Meanwhile, the Quaddles use a little lightning strike, my Iron Drakes can dodge it. For my opponent, we do have a skank priest of beasts with Flock of Doom and Amber Spear. Two Quaddles, a source Old Blood, and then a bunch of skinks, Red Crested Skinks, all that stuff with some Feral Cold Ones and Skink Skirmishers as well. In comes the Iron Drake Fire, roasting down the Skinks. Say goodbye to both of them. As the Organ Gun continues to try and figure out how to shoot at Asaurus Old Blood, but is not doing very well at that. Iron Drakes and Blasting Charges killing a bunch more Skinks, and already at the start of the battle, they have lost three of their Skink cohorts. And the Iron Drakes are starting to get shut down by the Quaddles. The Organ Gun is uh, firing at the Asaurus Old Blood, and it literally hasn't touched him yet. But Ungram's going to move forward, and when he has all of his stuff popped, he has over 1k weapon strength as he chases the Quaddle down, but the Quaddle does just get away from him, and a bound chain lightning goes through my forces. Slayer's trying to peel the Feral Cold Ones, other Slayer's running forward to get between the Organ Gun and Danger, and this Organ Gun has had a lot of time to fire, and it's gotten 250 value from trying to shoot at uh, anything, and Organ Guns still suck real bad. But the firing of Thori plus some blasting goes through these Concords, and again, another Skink is pushed off. Ungrim is fighting the source Old Blood, and while his bonus source Large won't help him, he still fears some combatant, and a flash bomb from the Master Engineer helps out just a little bit versus that source Old Blood. Iron Drakes continuing to be an annoyance for the Lizardmen as they keep trying to move in and get anything done. Iron Drakes line up another shot onto these Skinks. You don't get that much damage on the initial volley. Then it starts to get a lot better as more and more of them join in. The source Old Blood is getting his ass handed to him by Ungrim. He's popped all of his buffs right now. And Ungrim's still kind of handing it to him. Slayer's trying to chase down the Quaddles, and the Quaddles are the biggest annoyance for me for so far. There's a big old blob of Lizardmen over here I don't care about too much. I just want to get my Organ Gun back online, and now that it is online, I turn to aim at the Quaddle. To see if they can get any shots off whatsoever, but the Iron Drakes are still thinning out the Skinks wherever they may show up. Ungrim continues to try and fight against the Source Old Blood. Hammer of Character Oz lowers him down to 14 melee attack. The Cold Blooded is keeping him in this fight. We do have some Red Crested Skinks coming in on the sides. Organ Gun still trying to shoot at uh, anything. Not getting a whole lot done. And my Blasting Charges are soon lining up a shot onto these Red Crested Skinks. We're all blobbed up. And the Iron Drakes are going to hit the Feral Cold Ones. But this is going to be a nasty volley. Oh, there they go. Ow, damage. Ooey, owie, damage from the Dowie. Master Engineer is just using his little shotgun to poke away at the Quaddle over time. My Runesmith's trying to find a safe haven. We still do have two Slayers running around getting a lot of... a lot of damage out onto things, and most of the Skinks at the enemy are dead. This enemy troop count, they've lost 500. I've lost about 400, though, so it's not actually... not actually as big of a troop count favor as I would have thought. Still have some Flamethrowers pushing off the Skink Skirmishers and Slayer go charging into their death. But that weapon strength can't be reduced, so take that, poison of the Lizardmen. You can reduce the weapon strength of the Miners, but not the Slayers. Ungrim's popping all of his buffs once again, and a flash bomb slows down the Saurus Old Blood, allowing the Slayer King to get up to him, chops him in the back of the head. One more hit should do him in, and there it is, killing the Saurus Old Blood, and securing me a bit of a leadership advantage. Now Ungrim gonna turn and uh, put all of his stats towards the Quaddle, hopefully, as it continues to be really annoying. Rolling through my Iron Drakes and such. Yeah, it's Charge Enemy, which takes him away from Ungrim. So Ungrim continues to try and catch up. Master Engineer is just trying to uh, fire over here. But Ungrim can't catch the big sneaky snake just yet. Even Foe Seeker popped, he's not fast enough. 
should be getting into the air soon. Runesmith and Slayers fighting in the distance. We do have a Skink Priest over here. He's He's been casting Flock of Dooms and Amber Spears and such. I know some people like the Amber Spear versus the Dwarves because if you get a side shot down the line, it can do a lot of damage, but I find that remarkably inconsistent. Still have some Iron Drakes helping me out, mostly with that burnt leadership debuff on these Skink Cohorts. Gets them to rout and maybe their friends too. These friends didn't get burnt, but nearby allies routing might do that. And Ungrim's just trying to rally some Slayers and defend my last healthy Iron Drake plus another Iron Drake. And we'll sit here and just fire out at them. If the Quaddles want to come and shut us down, then they're going to have to fight Ungrim, which is exactly what I want. But I don't want to get separated out too much. And now that I've routed these guys, my remnants of Slayers and the Runesmith will probably come back to the area. In the Quaddle lands, and immediately Ungrim charges straight after him. He's going to try and get some big hits on the guy, but... Uh, Quaddles are janky, and they're weird. They're like pseudo-flying, pseudo-not-flying makes them very difficult to actually get hits on. And the Iron Drakes continue to just push off any Skink Skirmishers that have something to say. Dwarves have fallen a little bit but behind on the bounce power. We're coming back here and there. Ooh, and I have Entrenchment. I forgot about that. So I gave my guys 20% physical resistance, and they can't move. Okay. Master Engineer still firing away at the Quaddle, and this Quaddle landed too close to Ungrim. Foe Seeker, plus the Flash Bomb slow, kept the Quaddle in range for him to get a couple good shots in. Ungrim's, uh, Ungrim's killing it right now. He's doing fantastically. I'm still trying to get other Dwarf Warriors and uh, Miners back to the main fight. Iron Drake's firing down the sides are going to get those King Courts to route. Maybe the Feral Cold ones too. And Slayers fight to the very end against these angry Velociraptors. There they go. Iron Drakes are shut down, both of them gonna get going. Ungrim has come back to the group. Our Master Engineer over here, still firing away at the Quaddle. And he's popping all his buffs down the Onslaught and the Axe of Dargo. Let's see if he can get a hit in. No, he can't quite find his way onto uh, the Quaddle, but he does run over towards these guys. Takes a big old bite out of crime. Kills a couple models, but doesn't look like they're going to rampage back into him like I was hoping. Master Engineer gets attacked by Red Crested Skinks, and uh, Ungrim's going to come over and say hello as this Slayer gets chopped to pieces by the Skink Priest of Beasts. The Quaddles are closing in. But the Durfs stand triumphant for now, and we still have a healthy Master Engineer, still have a healthy Runesmith. Ungrim's healthy, and that's going to be a big problem. There are an awful lot of skinks. I don't love that. A lot of skinks. I'm getting some Iron Drakes back, getting some Dwarf Warriors back. The Quaddle lands into my Hero Hammer. He might regret this if Ungrim could get a hit on him. But his attack animation takes him pretty far away. He's fine. Hammer of Characteras is out for the Red Crystal Skinks. Slowing them down to one melee attack. Should keep Ungrim and the Master Engineer safe. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Tactical Legend and his Lizardmen continue to be annoying. But ah, these Iron Drakes, standing firm, burning down the Red Crested Skinks and lowering their leadership further so that I can maybe get rid of them here. Ungrim does get to fight the Quaddle at last for just a brief second before the Quaddle tries to get out of range. Now it is getting flash bombed, slows it down so Ungrim can get it behind it. He gets another 500 damage shot. Another big hit as it's staggering, and now less than a thousand HP, it does start to route. Takes another big hit from Ungrim. It continues to route, but now it's confused. For some reason, it can't figure out what direction it wanted to run away in. It will overall get away from Ungrim, but took significant damage on the way out. We have two Slayers left over there. Four Iron Drakes here with a 88 HP total. And the Slayers at last go down. I don't know what can kill Ungrim, though. Hey, and more Iron Drakes are back. Let's go. They don't care about nothing. Ooh, if they could get a shot off right now with all those skinks, that would be beautiful. Quaddle lands and disperses my Dwarf Warriors with some terror. In comes the big shot from the Iron Drakes. Gets a decent little amount of damage, considering there's only six models left, as they're getting darted in the face. Ungrim and the boys rallying. Master Engineer. Entrenchment. Nets himself in place, giving himself 40% more arm piercing damage, though. It's still the Iron Drakes are just roasting. They haven't paid for themselves, but 100 kills versus Lizardman is 
quite solid. These ones have 52 kills. 815 values. So they have paid for themselves. Finally, I get the Feral Coldness to rampage into me, so they'll just sit here and fight Ungrim, which is exactly what I want. Foe Seekers pops to try and keep the Dwarf Warriors around. Finally, the Skinks just melee charge the Iron Drakes. They were shooting at them with their darts, but decided it wasn't worth their time and uh, decided to take them down all melee style. Fight to the last, my Iron Drakes. Fight to the last. And with that... We are down to just the single entities. Master Engineer is trying to fight his way free of the Red Crystal Skinks. I think I'm trying to chase the Skink Priest here, but that's not really worth it. I should just go back. Oh, I had a I had a flash bomb. I guess that kind of makes sense. And then I pop all my buffs, but this does leave the Master Engineer on his own. And then, oof, a nasty overcast on the Spear of... What the? Why did I forget that thing? The Amber Spear. That's it. Oh, look at that damage! Thousand weapon strength ain't fucking around. One more hit, and that Skink Priest is dead. But then he gets running. Ungrim's too slow. 27 speed versus the 41 of the Skink. Yeah, the Skink's out of here. Master Engineer continues to get bombarded, and I have definitely overcommitted to try and fight this Skink. Master Engineer tries to just uh, aim and shoot, but he is firing over a ridge, so that's not really going to work, and a lightning breath quickly makes him maybe route. Ungrim and the boys are trying to rally, save the Master Engineer. Whose leadership is holding for now, surprisingly. Another big lightning attack. And then I was proud of this. So I used entrenchment on him at the last possible second because it just came off cooldown. I get 20% physical resistance, but I also net. So even though he's routing, he's netted. So he can't actually run away from the Guadal, which is fine because I, I want him to stay where he is so Ungroom can catch up. So the Quaddle's trying to finish him off. The Master Engineer won't run away. The Quaddle's attack animations actually bring it back closer to Ungrim. And finally, the Runesmith gets a hit on him, maybe to lock him in place. Ungrim gets some good shots in. This King Priest of Beasts is back. And an Amber Spear is getting cast across the map, but the Quaddle's taking big damage. In comes the Amber Spear, but it hits the ground, never to reach Ungrim. And the Master Engineer still netted, so he stays right next to Ungrim where I need him. He is just fine. Now he starts to actually route. His leadership is technically negative. Maybe we can get him back. He's a dwarf. They're hardy. A1 leadership, and he comes back. I get my little shotgun friend. And the runesmith and Ungram are trying to rally. Skink Priest does route for another time. We have some Skink Skirmishers coming back, and the Quaddle once again. I don't think it can deal with Ungram at this point. We will see. As it starts to land in, it does tear out off my uh, Master Engineer. But Ungrim should be fine. There's a Master Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Routes off the Skinks. And he kills my Engineer, but I get two big shots on the Quaddle, and all of a sudden, army losses as Ungrim is undefeated. 2,800 value for him. 700-ish from a Runesmith. 900 from a Master Engineer. Organ Gun sucked and died. It was horrible, but Slayers were really good. Iron Drakes were... Very solid, I thought. Like, lots of good kills, lots of good damage. Really putting those skinks on notice. Minus Blast and Charges also did pretty well. For Tactical Glitch, Source Old Blood got worked. His Quaddles did very well. Beast Caster did okay. Red Crest Skinks did very, very well. Feral Cold Ones did fine. Jab Skinks, well, Dart Skinks did fine. Then Skink Cowards did pretty well. So, uh, GG. Close game. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.